Welcome guys to 14.6, solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Um, there should not be much new material covered here because this is just a, a grouping of two different sets of skills that you've developed so far. So our objective here is given an equality, an inequality such as x squared minus 6x plus 4 is less than 0, we want to solve it and graph its solution set. So this is what a typical solution is going to be. This is actually the solution for that inequality, and this would be its graph. Um, so quickly, uh, example number one. Um, this is your function you start off with. The first thing I'm going to do is move this 17 over and add 17 to both sides of the equation. So this goes to 0, and then I get x squared plus 10x is greater than 17. Um, I'm now I'm going to key on the blue here and recall that um, if I take the binomial and square it, I get um, x squared plus 10x plus 25. And because I recall the 25 now, I have to add 25 to both sides of this equation and I get x squared plus 10x plus 25 is greater than 42. Um, from this blue over here, uh, you know that the square of the x plus 5 binomial um, is now greater than 42. Um, FYI, uh, the square root of 42 is 6.49, just in case you're wondering. Um, and when I move down from um, this line here, uh, I need to take the absolute value of x plus 5. Um, because x plus 5, when I take the square root of it, it cannot be uh, less than 0. It cannot be less than 0. That means you would have a negative under the square root. And that is a um, null set. That is, it does not exist. So what ends up happening is you get a situation where you get x plus 5 is greater than plus or minus the square root of 42. And here, that splits out into two different equations, this top one and this bottom one. On the top one, you're doing greater than a positive 42, but then on the bottom one, you have to do a less than a negative 42. And that's just in case you had to multiply by negative 1 to get um, a possible x plus 5 if it were if it were less than if it were negative you'd multiply it by a negative one anyway the point is you have to flip these two graphs so in the end you get x is greater than square root of 42 minus 5 and then the, um, and then x is less than negative 42 so these two are different from the uh, previous line um, you get your two points, you follow your arrow, 1.49 goes to the right, and negative 11.49 goes to the left. Um, notice that they're both open circles um, because they are non-inclusive. Your second example is a little more complicated. They're going to start off with this 8x is on the wrong side. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides, and that brings me to this equation. Um, also, I'm going to add 13 to both sides, which gives me my 71 um, and my negative 8x. Uh, I, cue, I cue on the uh, negative 8x, and recall that x minus 4, if it's squared, generates a negative 8x. It also generates a positive 16. So then, therefore, I have to add 16 to both sides of the equation to get 87. Then I, I take the factor, I factor that trinomial into two binomials here. Um, I take the square root of both sides, and I get um, this line here. And by the way, uh, 9.32 is the square root of 87. Um, then I move my 4 over to both si uh, on the side, and I split my equations into the um, original less than a positive 87 
and now the additional greater than or equal to negative 87. This will generate two points, and those two points I graph based on the solution of my inequality. And then what happens here in the green is that I've combined these two equations here into one compound inequality. Notice the closed um, points at the line. That means it is inclusive. And why is it inclusive? Because we've been greater than and, equal to, and, and less than or equal to. Your last example here is um, x squared plus 14x plus 60 is less than 0. Um, move my 60 out, subtract 60 from both sides, and I get my equation that's less than negative 60. Um, I cue off on the 14x and realize that I'm after x plus 7 squared, which will generate a positive 49. And then so I add 49 to both sides of the equation to get negative 11. I rewrite this trinomial as a, square, a squared binomial and then um, bring down my negative 11 and then suddenly realize that this is wrong. And why is that wrong? It's because you, your next step would be a square root of both sides and you cannot take a square root of a negative number. So therefore your solution is null and your graph is crickets. Nothing there except a zero. Your homework for today is uh, homework 99. It's going to be 2 through 20 even.